Greetings, and this week we've been taking a few moments as to each day just to talk about God and creation and existence of God. And today, very briefly, I just want to address the, the whole the Big Bang Theory. So, in a sense, what Big Bang Theory, which is the theory of cosmology, of how the universe came into existence, goes something like this, that way back in time, approximately 14 billion years ago, there was a beginning, a point in time referred to as singularity, where all mass, energy and space was contained in a, in a very dense, hot state, very small, very small volume, much smaller than what the universe is today. And, and then in an instant, in a less, you know, less one over 10 to the power of 30 or 34, that, that minute point in time, everything exploded. And these hot substances as they exploded over time cooled and formed subatomic particles and later atoms and uh, giant clouds and primordial elements came out of this and hydrogen and helium and lithium and all of these came out of this and through gravity the stars came into existence and galaxies and on and on and that's how the universe came into being. And that's an attempt to try to give an explanation to the origin of this universe. Now remember, neither, none of this has been actually reproduced or produced, for instance, in, in a scientific event, in any kind of lab. And uh, we are not able to explain even how the original mass and energy and uh, uh, space was contained in this small volume that was then released in this big bang. There are two essential problems with this theory or this idea or supposition. First of all, where did that initial matter and energy and time or that come together where did it come from? If there was nothing, if there was no space, time or matter, and there's no energy, where did it come from? Now we, we are presupposing huge amounts of mass energy contained in a small volume. Secondly, there's a design problem that there's a presupposition that when all of this exploded, it just somehow acquired intelligence over time so that this vast universe with all the stars, planets, and other bodies could be so precisely positioned. And when you look at how precise all of this is, there are 30, at least 30 parameters, including what we are all familiar with, gravity and uh, other constants that are so precise that even a small change and life on earth will be completely destroyed or they will be it'll be catastrophic uh, in this universe so the fine tuning of this universe the universe is so fine tuned so finely calibrated that for it to have happened by chance takes greater faith than to believe that god flung it out there with the design that he had in his mind Hebrews 11 verse 3, By faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. So when God spoke his word, he released energy, he released time, time, energy, and design were released in the words that God spoke, which then brought all of the universe into existence. That's what the Bible is telling us. And believing this word is so much more comforting and believable, assuring, than to believe a theory that has never been proved. God spoke. Everything came into existence. He released in the energy, matter, 
design, time, all came forth from him. We believe that. Let's pray. Lord, we worship you, we acknowledge you, we recognize the power of your word, and that by your word, everything came into existence. We praise and honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.